posh pellet plinkin, as you've seen. We've got a new target today. Well, we have got a new target. We've got a new, it's an airsoft target. Have a look at it. So we've got a new target. See how, how that's going to stand up to the air rifles. And we've tidied up the range a bit. You can see there's extra shelves and there's, I don't know, we've just made it a bit more clear and cleaner. And we've got these new pellets. These are Diabolo Field Air Arms. Never tried these before. They were 20 quid a tin. I've never seen one 7 pellets at 20 pound a tin before. I've never shot them yet. So let's do some posh pellet thinking. For the price, these better be good. Now, got a reactive target there. Start with that. Let's see. Well, that one was bang on. Okay, well, we had four in the same hole. Four pretty much in the same hole in the center. This gun's a bit as it is, but that was quite good actually. We're gonna go for one more mag on this on that target, just to make sure for that. I was quite I know you guys probably think you expect better, but this gun does that anyway. I'm gonna go for number seven this time on the right. Okay, I like them. These actually do perform better than average pellets for this gun. Expensive, but it's a pass. We're gonna pow, pow, pow the new target, see what it sounds like, and see if it actually lives up to the damage. So I'm pretty sure that's another airsoft one. Oh, they all sound good. Two more. Right. Sounds pretty good. As you can see, it's screwed in place. We'll do a full magazine on the big one at the bottom right. We'll do all eight shots onto that, and then we'll go and investigate. It's got a nice sound. Thanks, mister. Let's look at this one. Take it off. Oh, no, that's fine, that. It's not really taking any beatings. The legs are still good, still solid. That's brilliant. Oh well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's meant for air rifles, not airsoft. Either way, works great. I mean, nothing moves. But it makes a good noise, and at least there's nothing to have to go and reset. And I fill the gap in with some. Now we're just going to shoot everything. Thinking fun with the posh pads. Target works great. Pallets work good enough. They're still expensive. Now we're just going to shoot. Since the gun has CO2 on it. Oh, how wet. Let's start taking out all the loose ones that are dotted about. Storm the soldiers at the bottom. Oh, right in the middle. Yeah. Now those two little shells I just put up there quickly 
They've actually just screwed into the breeze block. There's no plugs or anything, so they might end up going down when they take a few shots. Hopefully not. Hey, hey. Bing. Dipping a bit. The CO2 was already in the rifle. Fingers are getting a bit black. Must be quite a bit, of, I don't know. Is that a good sign or a bad sign for the pellets? Are they dirty? Or is it a sign that good pellets have? Yeah, oh, I didn't spin very well. As you can see, we put the spinny thing back in as well. It was at the shorter range. That one. Oh, how it. <clears throat> well, recycling them around, moving them around. Keeping things fresh for you guys. Right, now let's warm up with the little Texas star on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, get lost. Obviously, as you can see, someone told me this a while ago, when you do a Texas star, hit the bottom one. If you hit the bottom one first, it moves so much faster. It, it's true, and it's a good point, and I still thank that person for saying it ages ago. But I think I'm going to have to start hitting the top ones. <laughs> Making this look bad. Nope. I think they're dipping a bit. I'm going to go back on the reactive target. We're going to go for number six on the left. Well, that one, that was a flyer. Yeah, they're dipping a bit. It's been shooting to the left all day, all session. So I guess if I'm going to keep using these pellets, I need to adjust the scope. Definitely dipping a bit. Anyway, let's fill this up, go on the triple Texas store. Feeling like a badass. Feeling like I can do this today. Let's aim to the right and slightly up. How hard's up? Oh, come on. Four, five. Five hits, three misses. That was better. That was a better round. Well, today, time of recording, I don't know when this video is going out, today is November 5th. It's about 10am, half 10. 
I'm waiting for all you Americans to wake up so you can start doing your voting. I think today's the day. And I'm, I'm more interested in, in what's happening over there than I am in this country. This country sucks. So if you guys could hurry up and wake up, start, start seeing the counts come in and stuff, that'd be great. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, there's a little toilet, to, to, to target left, toy left, a movable one. Didn't know paint was in town though, did it? Also, now this is at the time of recording, this might not go off for a week or even longer. Where's the polo challenge, guys? Where's the mega polo challenge? I've still got all these packs left from when I did it. I want to see at least one attempt. Come on. Or at least someone tell me they've attempted it. A viewer that doesn't have a channel. Someone tell me they've done it. Oh, yeah. Trying to start a trend here. First five went up and I literally fought himself. I'm getting all eight, uh, all eight shots here. Every time I do that. <sighs> oh, 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 also, have you noticed how clean it is down there? Ta da! It needs to be painted again, but clean. Oh, more to the left now. Yeah, man. I'm aiming to the right side of the duck, not even at the duck, and it's going to the other side of the duck. There. The target doesn't do much. Makes a good sound. It doesn't doesn't do too much, but it was only really cheap. I can't remember, but it was very cheap. Thank you very much.